Hello everyone, this is Sonic the Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Infinity Saga Searcher from Thor Ragnarok. So let's go over the packaging here first. So you get the Infinity Saga logo here, Marvel Studios Searcher, you get the Avengers A there, Marvel Legends logo in the corner there, Thor Ragnarok logo there. Here is the side art of the Infinity Saga wave with the Infinity Saga logo on the top here. And then the Avengers A at the bottom. And then here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. It has the poster of Thor Ragnarok. And then uh, Marvel Legends logo on the corner there, Searcher. Here's the other side of the box art with that same art there. And then here is the top where it says Thor Ragnarok. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Searcher out of package. So let's go over the accessories first. So first you get a fisted hand for his left hand. I love these hands a lot because it's made out of transparent orange plastic, but then they painted this like molten look to the hands here that look, that looks amazing. I love the hands a lot on this figure. And then you get a kind of like relaxed, uh, grasped, ugh, grasped hand here with the uh, pointy fingers there, transparent plastic, some molten detailing in there. It's awesome. And then that's the hands, and then we get the sword. This long sword, it's taller than a regular figure. Let me grab one of these figures here. So here is the modular Iron Man. Point it down a little bit. And then here is the sword. It's way taller than a figure, so that is awesome. But you get this molten look throughout it, and then you get this, it gets lighter near the end of the figure, end of the blade here. I love the sculpt of the sword, that looks awesome. And then that's all we got for accessories here. Uh, so let's go over Searcher. So here is the head sculpt of it. You get the horns here. Uh, you get the bright yellow eyes there. Here's the mouth. They even painted the inside of the mouth. All The entire figure is transparent plastic, and they painted over it. It feels sticky, to be honest, though. But I think that's because of the texturing throughout the figure. Um, you get some flame effects on the shoulders here. And I love the molten look throughout the figure here. Here's the shoulders, biceps forearms you get some more flame effects there here it is he comes with a, a sword holding hand there here is the chest with some rocks throughout the figure there too here's the other one you get a flame effect on the tricep area here's the other forearm with some more molten around it and you got another sword holding hand there here is the legs get the knees and I love how it gets more molten near the creases too, where he would usually bend his ankles and stuff like that. Here's the foot. And here's the bottom of the foot. Here's the back side. It looks like he has ribs in the back. That looks pretty cool. This figure is just awesome. He's massive too. And then there's not a whole line in the back, but that's not really a problem for me. But yeah, this is an awesome figure. So let's go over the articulation for him. So his head, he has a double ball jointed head so he can look down that far. He can look up that far. He can look left and right. Some head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out. <laughs> Not a lot, like this far only really. 360 rotation there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. And they're pinless. Wrists can hinge. Uh, I think these go side to side here. So it goes down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. And he has a ball joint for the uh, torso, so you can go forward that far, backwards that far with it, and you can go side to side with it. 360 rotation around there. And he also has an ab crunch, so with both of those going, he can go farther down, farther backwards there. 
legs can kick out that far, forward that far, backwards that far, thigh cut, clicky, double joints and knees. Like I said, knees a little bit getting worn up, warmed up a little bit. They're pinless too. And then he has like a little shin cut there. Ankles can hinge up that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here is Searcher right next to the modular Iron Man, the six inch figure. And here he is next to Gladiator Hulk from Ragnarok. And here, he, and then also next to Thor from Thor Ragnarok. I switched out the head so it looks a little bit accurate from the fight scene. But yeah, I love this figure. It's awesome. He is massive. I love this thing. Uh, I think he's about as, the same t height as Civil War Ant-Man, I believe. But the sculpting job, the paint job on this figure is amazing. He came with the right amount of accessories. I do wish they did add in the Searcher um, skull from Ragnarok where like uh, Loki threw it into the Eternal Flame. So you get big like this. It was mainly the crown. Uh, it's close, but he didn't have like the mouthpiece or jaw. So, uh, yeah, but besides that, I love this thing. I think it would be cool if you added some, like if you put a light ray on it and it would shine like he's on fire. That'd be cool to do for like a, like a photo. Um, but besides that, articulation is really good for a build, for a figure like this. He's massive. The sword is wicked. Uh, the paint job to make it look like it's molten is really cool. The texturing is awesome. Uh, I really don't have any complaints with this figure. Besides, the shoulders don't go up that far, but eh, it's well, well. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this figure. So make sure you guys check out my link tree in my bio uh, description uh, for my TikTok, uh, Twitch, and a few other things. So make sure you guys check that out. But besides that, thanks for watching.